siku ya leo uh, nataka tuongee kuhusu namna ya kuipata hekima ya ukweli na vile ambavyo unaweza fanya ili ukaweze kuipata hekima ya ukweli na kama vile nimekuwa nikikwambia ya kwamba ni vizuri kujuana na Mungu na ni vizuri kujuana na Mungu kwa njia ambayo inafaa hivyo ndivyo nimekuja nikwambie siku ya leo ya kwamba ni vyema kujaribu kuitafuta hekima ya ukweli kutoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu Daudi akasema ya kwamba mwanzo wa kumuogopa Mungu hii ni katika Zaburi 111 ya kwamba mwanzo wa kumuogopa Mungu kama kumuogopa Mungu ndio mwanzo wa hekima na kwamba kuelewa kuzuri ni kwa wale watu ambao wanafuata hili andiko na hivyo ndivyo nimekuja siku ya leo nikwambia kwamba kuna mambo matatu ambayo unastahili kufanya ili ukaweze kuipokea ile hekima na hekima ya ukweli na ili wewe mwito wako na Mwenyezi Mungu ukakuwa mwito ambao umekamilika kitu ya kwanza ambacho ningetaka kukuambia kwamba ili upokee hekima ya ukweli ambayo kwa kimombo ama kwa Kiingereza tunaita real wisdom ni ya kwamba ni vizuri uweze kumwogopa Mungu kama vile umesikia katika Biblia Psalms 111 imesema ya kwamba the fear of the Lord is the beginning nataka uangalie neno fear kumwogopa Mungu hiyo ndiyo jambo ya kwanza unastahili ufanye ili uweze kuipokea hii hekima ya Mungu hekima ya ukweli kwanza kabisa umuogope Mwenyezi Mungu si atiogope yule ambaye amekuajiri si atiogope mambo ya dunia si atiogope mambo yale ambayo unapitia makali katika maisha yako Mungu anataka ili akupe ile hekima ya ukweli jambo la kwanza kabisa ukaweze kumogopa jambo la pili ni ya kwamba ukaweze kumtii ni ukaweze kumtii ukisoma katika hiyo zaburi 111 inaendelea kusema kwa kimombo a good understanding of all those that do his commandments the word of god is given to us not just to read and study but to obey we are to be doers of the world not just auditors who sit in class and take notes when we obey god we begin to understand what is going to be done by him or what he is doing in his own world and therefore i finish by saying that the second thing that you have to do for you to acquire real wisdom from above is to obey god and i tell you my brother and my sister that obedience to god is the organ of spiritual understanding so the second thing that you need to have for you to acquire real wisdom from above is to obey god first of all you fear god secondly you obey him and finally remember i said that we are going to look at three things that you need to do for you to acquire real wisdom the third thing is you praise him the bible says in psalms that his praises endure us forever and therefore the praise that you do to god takes selfishness out of your life when you're praising god don't just praise him praise him as a living god and when you do this when you're praising god it will remove things like idolatry from anything else when i talk about idolatry i don't mean just mean about what people many people call prostitution when you admire something that belongs to somebody else it is not yours that's what you call idolatry so when you praise god you admire what belongs to him you admire the godly things and when you do this you acquire real wisdom what i can tell you is that the more you fear god the more you obey him 
and the more you obey him the more you praise him and those three are the ingredients of a happy and a successful christian life my brother and my sister wherever you are are you in kenya tanzania uganda congo saudi arabia qatar south africa pakistan in dubai in united states of america i tell you the three things that you need to do to acquire real wisdom from god is one you fear god two you obey god and three you praise him and i have told you that the more you fear god the more you obey him and the more you obey god the more you praise him and those are the three ingredients that you need to have for you to have a happy and a successful christian life may god bless you may god do your wonders as you work towards achieving the real wisdom as you work to making sure that you fear god as you work to making sure that you obey him and as you work to make sure that you praise him god bless you i want us to pray and i know that somebody is going to acquire real wisdom from god from today father in the name of jesus i come before you i thank you because of this evening oh god thank you father because of the listener or the person who is listening this sermon oh god father you've taught us about acquiring real wisdom and you've told us lord jesus that for us to acquire real wisdom that belongs to you we have to fear you i pray the lord jesus whomever is listening to this sermon oh god may he or she fear you from today in jesus mighty name Father, you've also told us that for us to acquire real wisdom from you, we have to obey you. I pray that whomever is listening this sermon of God from now onwards start obeying you, start obeying your commands in Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Father, because you've told us Lord Jesus that for us to acquire real wisdom that comes from you, we have to praise you. I thank you Jesus because this person who is listening this sermon from today from now onwards this person is going to be praising you with all his mind with all her mind with all his soul with all her soul and with all his body and with all her body in the name of Jesus help us God to acquire real wisdom from today I pray also for the person who is sick oh Jesus and may you father heal the person I pray that anybody who has any burden in this life oh God anybody or something that is disturbing him or her may you father bless the person may you father make whatever is disturbing him father come to an end in the name of Jesus bless them and do them great things we thank you and we glorify you and it is in the name of Jesus We do pray trusting and believing. Amen. May God bless you. May God do you wonders. My name is Pastor John Gaho of Blessings Revival Center Kigumo Kiambu. If you want to reach me, you can come to Royal Main Stage, get a matatu which is going to Kigumo and Kiambu. And when you get to Kigumo Shopping Center, ask for Blessings Revival Center. At the same time if you want to call me, you can call me through the number 0715619700 If you are abroad use plus 2547156197700 May God bless you as you work to attaining the real wisdom from God Shalom 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 <laughs>